afternoon. I hope you're having a good Monday. Candice here from Beauty and Strength, and I'm back with another Movement Monday. So today's Movement Monday is going to be a band good morning. A good morning is similar to a Romanian deadlift. Any type of hinging type movement, it's the same type of movement. So we're going to do, um, I'm going to show you how to do those. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the good mornings are good for the hamstrings, the booty, which you can't see till I get back there, and your lower back. So that's what we're going to go over today. We're going to use a band. So this would be great if you don't have dumbbells or a um, barbell at home, or you just want to change it up and use bands because they're it, it help it gives you a variety of ways to do different exercises with the bands, if that, may, if that makes sense. I kind of jumbled that up. But bands are good for a nice change, basically what I was trying to say. So uh, I'm going to flip you guys around, and I'm going to walk you through what a banded good morning looks like. <laughs> All right, good, good, good. Got my cameraman here today taking care of me. All right, so with the banded good morning, I have a few bands here, and um, if you're a beginner, I would definitely say start out with a lighter band. So I have a couple different sizes. The smallest, probably medium, then, then heavy, and then like a super heavy. So I'm going to show you guys with the super heavy how to get into a band first. I'm also going to show you how to use it. This, if you just have a regular resistance band with the handles, you can also do this exercise. Because I'm sure this is probably what most people have at home. But if you have, they call these super bands. They don't have the handles on them. You can use these too, and they're great. So, what you're going to do is step on the band, shoulder width. And this one is really tight, so i got to kind of get it low to get into it. So I'm going to get in low. Stand up, I'm putting it around my back. And I'm stepping sh um, shoulder width apart. And just like if you was doing a Romanian deadlift, the movement starts from the hips. I'm going to keep my core engaged. So core engagement is like if I'm going to put you in the um, abdominals, that is engagement. So don't suck in, brace your core so you can keep stable and protect your lower back. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the movement from the hips. And I'm going to begin to hinge back. I'm sticking my booty back. I'm not squatting. So we're not squatting. We're hinging. So here we go. Hinging. And I'm pressing back. And you should feel most of the movement in the hamstring. And then I'm standing up. And I'm squeezing my booty. And I'm hinging again. Boom. A note about your head and neck is to hide whoever's on right now. I can't see you. But... Thanks for joining. Um, if you have any questions, leave them at the um, leave them in the comment box. So when you're doing movements, deadlifts, and different things like this, don't have your head cranked back. You should make kind of like a double chin and look a few inches in front of you for a few feet and hinge back and stand up. So I'm hinging. I'm loading my hamstring. Should be tight and stand up. And I'm finishing with my glutes. Do a couple more here. Boom. So that is a band good morning. As you see, I'll show you real quick. Get into a lighter band will be much easier. I can just put this one up and get in without bending. Same thing, less resistance. Hinge. Boom. For the rep range, it's not a um, heavy style workout or exercise. So anywhere between 12 to 20 reps would be great. So that, so keep your rep range between 12 to 20 reps. And you can use this as an accessory move or you can do it after like at the end of your heavy leg day or use it for a warm up. So last thing I'm going to show you if you have the resistant bands with the handles, what you want to do, make sure you got a good one that won't pop, pop up and come out of the little holes. Um, so stand it, get in the handles, put your feet in the handles. The same thing, you probably have to bend it down a little bit, depending on how tight the band is. And go down a little bit. Same thing, get my core engaged. 
keep my back. I forgot to mention to always keep your back flat so don't round. The movement doesn't start there. It should start up here. It starts from your hips. Hands back. Lowering the hamstrings. Hitting the glutes. Hitting a little lower back. And stand up. So that is how you do it if you just have the band with the handle. So that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please hit me up, and I'll see you guys next week or later on this week. Have a great week. Talk to y'all later. Bye.